peeps today is a very special day for me i am making today special i am running a 5k across the ben franklin bridge i'm doing it in memory of my mother and in honor of the ovarian cancer walk which was canceled this year due to covid many of you know my mother passed away when i was 16 from ovarian cancer and i've participated in the walk every single year since i wanted to do something this year anyway and i figured since the walk was canceled i'm going to honor it and run somewhere that i enjoy running i don't do this run often this is a pretty tough one but it is approximately a 5k it's a little short than a 5k i got all my gear on to represent the walk to represent you guys to represent my mother i have on this necklace that one of you peeps gave me years ago and someone gave me these earrings years ago i got my pins on and the shirt from last year during this run, I want to reflect on my past and I want to think about my future. I was doing a lot of thinking and to be honest with you, as the years go by, the longer it's been since my mom has passed, I feel like I don't think about her as much. I think that that naturally happens when someone passes away, but I obviously, like, I still love her and I miss her and I wish she was here in my life still. I almost feel like I don't have tons of memories of my mom. Some of the things that I remember about her, I'm going to tell you about later and it's things that also are about myself. One of you guys gave me this bracelet too, the one that says the cure. My nephew gave me the one with the stars. One more important thing that I wanted to tell you guys is when I complete the run, I brought this with me. This is a lock and teal is the color that represents ovarian cancer. September is ovarian cancer. Walk. I wanted to lock it on this like fence graded area, but I decided I have a better spot. We're going to go there together when I'm finished and I'm going to lock it there. I thought here they might end up cutting it down one day. So this is the lock and I put a bunch of ovarian cancer ribbons on it. I wrote, I love you mom on the back of it and um, it's gonna be locked up forever. <laughs> this is tough but I can do it. <laughs> Thank you guys again for participating in the walk for all those years and for donating. I'm really glad I did that. So now we get to go to the location where I want to hang up that lock. I haven't been to this spot in a really long time. They used to have a whole entire wall where you can lock your locks on there. Here it is. It's called Philadelphia Hope Fence. Oh, look at that one. I don't know which one to pick. There's a lot of different sections. I want to pick one that you guys will remember in case you ever come here. Whoa, look at that. Jeez, that's huge. I've been watching for years on YouTube. Hi, what's your name? My name is Natalie. Natalie. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Oh my God. Can I get a picture? Sure. <laughs> oh my God, thank you so I much. I want to hug you I guys. I know, but I'm like, like, I can't. It's okay, thank I feel you. so bad. <laughs> I, never, I never not hug you guys. I know, oh my God. I've been watching y'all for so long. You don't even understand. Oh. 
Wait, oh my god. I'm thank actually, you. I'm making a vlog today. I'm gonna hang a lap on her. Oh my god, Ari, thank you. Oh, that was oh, so good. Oh, that was cute. I feel so bad. I wanted to give her a hug, man. Ugh, it's crazy with COVID. Can't like properly greet you guys. But I found the spot that I want to hang this. I'm gonna put it on the fifth grid, the fifth square grid, whatever you want to call this thing, where all the locks are. I'm gonna put it at eye level for me. If any of you come here to find this, you will see how tall I am. <laughs> Not very tall. Um, but on the back, I, like I told you, it says I love you, mom. And I got a whole bunch of these uh, ribbons. Oh, I should have given her one. If she comes back, I'll give her a ribbon. This building here is the Hilton. It's a Hilton hotel. It's like behind there. Come down these stairs. This is the whole wall of locks. Mine's gonna be on the fifth section, so like behind that plant. All right. I mean, I think a lot of them are for people in relationships or getting married or something. I'm doing this in memory of my mom. <laughs> it's the, the Hope Fence of Philadelphia. Okay. Gina, can I take a photo with you, please? Sure. What's your name? You sure? I appreciate it so much. You're I love welcome. you. I would give you a hug, but I feel like it's not appropriate with I met you. I've been watching you for years, like years and oh, years. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. What's your name? My name is Jared. Hi, Jared. You guys are in the vlog. <laughs> hey. Here, come introduce yourselves. So you're in the video. How y'all doing? My name is Jisha. Can I shout myself out or not? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. I don't know if you're going to cut this out. Hi, my name is Jared. I have a vlogging channel. I'm from Philly also. <laughs> and it's <laughs> it's Ghost Got Toast, all one word on YouTube. That's creative. Yeah, what do you do? Just I around the city. Yeah. What are you doing today? I'm filming. Um, so this is in memory of my mom, and I'm gonna lock this in memory of my mom. Absolutely. So. One quick question. Sure. It's getting dark now, but I was talking to those guys for a tiny bit. I'm hanging it right here. It's not exactly as tall as me, but it's like eye level. Eye level. <laughs> oh, that was cool. As soon as I was locking it, the light came on. I wrote ovarian cancer on it because some people want to know the story, like that woman that walked by. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just why. I'm actually really glad that I ended up hanging it here. I think it's a better spot than on the bridge because this has meaning to it for everybody and I think like I kind of changed the meaning a little bit because I did it differently than well I don't actually know what everybody's story is who knows I guess I could do the hashtag and figure it out also it's nice that I got to meet some of you peeps in the process so there's the hill in the back of it here it is at night that's funny because I didn't know I'd be here till Sunday no. I love this spot I haven't been here all year yet just bumped into more peeps classy and live <laughs> what are you guys up to we are yeah. Oh, I forgot. I didn't get to do that. I'll have to go next week then. Yeah. <laughs> well, enjoy your dinner. Thank, Thank you. You, guys. you too. <laughs> That's their crew. I told them to chase it down. I said she's going to complete her video. Stalkers. <laughs> yeah. Stalkers. Yeah. Stalkers, yeah. get away. <laughs> Just bumped into more peeps, and it's funny because all these girls have watched the videos. And how old are you guys? I'm 19. 19. Yeah, 19. Yeah. Oh, okay. So th when they were all younger, they would watch the videos, but they weren't even friends, and now they're friends. And, they and we're were like, friends. Yeah. Oh, we're yeah. friends. That's funny. Oh, we yeah. love your stuff. Yeah, we so do. Much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good night. We're going. To we got the bridge as the backdrop. I'm trying to cover up this trash can behind me in the view. But I never really talked to you guys about my mom much in the videos. I guess maybe I didn't want to bore you in case nobody was interested. I figured because of the theme of the video, I'll tell you some couple things about my mom. I feel like I don't have tons of memories and I wish I had more. The thing that's always been tough, like when she passed away, I always felt like I wish I could ask her questions or, you know, I wanted to know about certain things, anything, even later in life. I'm like, I wish I, I had my mom around so I could have someone to ask advice, but I didn't. So I had to go on with life without her. So my mom liked to cook. I like to cook. A couple things that she instilled in me are some of her greatest qualities. She was a very loving and caring person and I definitely take after her with that. She was always being helpful with people from what I remember. She gave great hugs. I definitely miss that a lot. I wish I could hug her again but I can't. So I, I'm longing for like to have a great hug like my mom's hugs 
Anyway, I think I also take after my mom in that she had very strong morals and values. I feel the same about myself. I definitely have strong morals and values. She was very honest and, and honesty is very important to me and loyalty. So I, I definitely take after her with all of those things. Loyalty to family, to friends, to loved ones. Those are some of her great qualities. What else can I tell you about my mom? She would tuck me in at night. She would read me bedtime stories. I remember her food was great. Like I was a picky eater when I was a kid and I loved her food, I really did. Like she even got me eating mushrooms when I was a kid and I hated, like I hate, hate, hated mushrooms. And she made this like one dish and she convinced, you know what else was great about my mom? She always would make me try things. She would just like, like you have to just try it because you never know. And I would try things, I'm like wow, I actually like it. And not only with food, but like other things in life. So I always encourage people who are afraid to eat, I always encourage them to try stuff. Lots of people that I've been around that I try to get them to try food, they end up liking it. Because I don't recommend bad food. <laughs> if I think of more things, I'll tell you later, but I'm gonna go somewhere where else, I think, because the spot I was gonna go is closed. I'm about to do something that I haven't done in a really long time. Voila, run, son. Part of why I came here is because of tradition every year, I would eat a donut or several donuts at the wall. I am coming here to get a donut. I hope it has some kind of cream in the middle. I need a good hand washing after being outside for so long. That's actually another thing about my mom. She was always washing her hands and she always told us that we had to wash our hands. In fact, one of the reasons that I might be a germaphobe is because when my mom was sick, when she had cancer, she was like always in and out of the hospital, had chemotherapy, she had radiation, and she constantly was getting sick. We had to be like really clean and I think maybe that's a reason why I kind of became a germaphobe. Dinner time! <laughs> Nyla's waiting for my food. Look at her. You are not getting my dinner. You can't have it. <laughs> oh, can't even. I can't even. Does this happen to you guys when you eat too, if you have animals? I only let her do this when I'm by myself because I don't care. Oh, I have a story about, okay, here's a story about my mom. I had two cats growing up. I don't even know where the hell they came from. My mom just came home with these two cats one day and my dad was like basically forced to keep them because my brother and I were like, we want to keep the cats. My mom was like, um, how do you say no to the kids? So anyway, we ended up keeping these two cats. Hi, I'm vlogging right now and I wanted to ask you a quick question. What's a short story that you remember about mommy? No, I like, like fucking kids. So it's like there's not like stories that really wouldn't be like a lot of stories more like of us being bad and like <laughs> That's fine, tell me that <laughs> of us being bad. She was a little bit stricter because she cared about our uh, I, I don't know, like dental hygiene and didn't want us eating like over eating candy or so we would like sneak it. For us not to be spoiled, we were never spoiled kid. To summarize what my brother just said, basically my mom, she always cared about our health and our, our everything, like our dental hygiene and making sure we didn't eat too much crap. And like, I wanted sweets all the time, like I still do. She didn't want us to have too many sweet things. It was not often, it was like a special thing, but it had to do with being spoiled also. But she didn't want us being spoiled. Let me explain, because I don't know if you guys have this in your neighborhoods. Where we grew up, <laughs> maybe you don't even know what an ice cream man is. An ice cream man is, it's like a, the truck drives by your neighborhood and it has ice cream in the truck and they serve it to you from the truck and they play this music out of the truck. Ice cream man would come around and if we weren't allowed to have ice cream, we would just like scream out the window, ice cream, ice cream, because if you say ice cream, the ice cream man stops. And we would just like sit there and crack up and watch the ice cream man out the window just like waiting for the kids to come to get ice cream. And then my mom would hear us yelling out the window and she would yell at us for like bothering him and wasting his time. <laughs> wait, wait, oh, you know what? Did you say you don't usually touch doorknobs or buttons? It's kind of avoided. I was actually talking about this earlier in my video. Fucking mom. <laughs> that was mom story. She was like a little germaphobe, kind of. She just wanted us to be clean. I, I was thinking about that and I mentioned it in my video today. I think I'm a germaphobe. You know when mom was sick and like she was real susceptible to anything? We just like always had to make sure we had our hands clean and everything just in case. Maybe that somehow stuck with me later in life, you know? Probably, you know. Donut time. Came in there, I guess. Stop it, Bamboo. Like, we can, if you touch, like, a piece that's going to get into your skin, like, it evaporates, like, it literally, like... Or maybe you're just asymptomatic. I think the cock and ball story worse than a mom. <laughs> cock and ball story? Yeah, like a big cock and ball story that's bullshit. I think 
does have some dad actually. They're talking about it all over the news everywhere. What, a cock and ball story? Oh, da that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bullshit. Just had a nice long conversation with my brother and it made me think like how I said in the video earlier that I wish I had my mom to talk to about certain things. Unfortunately, I don't, but I have my brother at least. It's so nice that we have a good relationship where he gives me advice or, you know, like we, we can talk about anything and it's great. Anyway, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for supporting the cause for so many years. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and do not forget to smash the thumbs up button because it always helps. I love you guys. See you soon. Peace.